Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Frank Bruno's boxing on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum 48K. It was released in 1985 by Elite Systems. They did tons of great arcade ports, although this isn't, but it is. It was also released on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64. It's a boxing game, probably the best boxing game on the Spectrum and got incredibly good reviews. Now, you're probably looking at it and thinking it bears a strange resemblance to something. That's because it's a complete rip-off of Nintendo's Super Punch-Out. How they did not get sued by Nintendo for this, I honestly do not know, because the character models uh, it look just like it, the controls are just like it, the knockout mechanic is exactly the same, and the first three characters are actually, you know, nicked from Super Punch-Out. They've just renamed them, and not even, you know, like that well, because Bear Hugger is the first character in Super Punch-Out. He's been renamed to Canadian Crusher. Dragon Chan, second one, the karate guy, the one I can never get past um, on the, this game back in the day. It's renamed to the quite frankly racist Fling Long Chop. And the third one, Vodka Drakensky, is renamed to Andra Punchderatov. Punch I can't pronounce it. The other five are new to this game. Now, look at it. You know, uh, I was going to say club a leg. <laughs> Canadian Crusher, uh, top left. Me, top right, health, health, three minutes is your maximum, knockout. Um, yeah, it's unbelievable that they got away with this. I'm not complaining though, because it's great. Just crunchy sound effects, no music. But look, I mean, let's get into it. That's your all your opponents there. You, when you beat an opponent, opponent, it gives you a name and you can uh, you can go back and you know play them again so you don't have to reload it. But look at the controls. U dodge left, P dodge right, so there's a gap between of two keys. Then I punch left, O punch right. One guard up, A guard down, which is how you select to go up or down with your punches. But you press one to select and then the other one to select back. Q duck that lists above that. And bottom row, not space, just says bottom row is your knockout punch, which you can only achieve when you've got your knockout bar full, like Super Punch-Out. And the other thing I've got to be really careful with is there's a button on the keyboard just outside where my finger for dodge right floats, which quits the game. Honest to God. Right, so let's go. Uh, and again, and again. Three. We're on keyboard. Right, uh, L, load next boxer, enter pace, replay, current boxer. Enter your name. DSW. Don't ask what my middle name is, it's horrible. It's Shizen, it's not. Right, so go low, go high, go low, go high, Q, duck. Oh, see, he's got his moves, right. I'm gonna show you, look, if I see, I can dodge. Go low, boom. The animation is brilliant, but yeah, again. Watch their faces. No, you don't. I find getting triggering the uh, knockout punch is, you know, a bit awkward. Ah, oh, you bastards. But yeah, the animation is superb, and like his ticks on his face, just like, you know, original punch out and super punch out in fact. There you go. Boom! Give away what he's doing. Look at that. That's amazeballs. I am glad they didn't get sued because I don't think I was actually familiar with Super Punch Out when this came out. What's this? Cube Duck. Well, I ducked that, which takes out all the fucking beans out of me. Right, this is what I remember as a kid. Get some of that in your life. Ow. But yeah. Go low, go high, go low, go high. Mix it up, mix it up. Sexy times at Burger High. Down he goes. Saucy. Right, so Q again, Q. Bollocks, wrong button. See, the keys are so spaced out, I don't know how it plays on joystick, because we didn't have a joystick back in the day, because all, you know, proper Spectrum kids, they played uh, with keys.
No, I wanted to knock you out. I'm going to knock you out. Mama said knock you out. Something, something, something. Music from the 90s. Bye! Down he goes. Eating mats. High fibre. No gluten, too. Right, yeah, that's dodgy sound, right? Press enter. Alright, get to the point, Frankie, baby. There you go. See, there's your code. Uh, enter for options page. I am not going to enter that code because I would have to load it, even though I'm emulating this. So let's have one more go. It Canadian Bear Crusher. Whatever his name is. I forget. I'm getting confused between both of them. Let's go Mean Machine on his ass. I mean, if you want to see what the other boxes look like, then just, like, look up gameplays on YouTube. There's enough of them. Oh, you bastard. Why is that punt so hard to trigger? Well, it's probably not. It's just me. Go now. He's to the right. Oh, you bastard. Oh, he's a bit... He's learned from our last rank. Ow! Don't go down. Don't go down, baby. Don't go down. Is that Rocky 3 or 4? I can't remember. Hey! So I guess you just wear his stamina right as well. You don't have to, you know, use the TKO bar manoeuvre thingy. Right, Q. Wish Q wasn't in such an awkward place. I find it so difficult when I come back up. To hit him straight after, you know, ducking his bear hug thing. Ow, hands cramping up. Ow! These keys really aren't, you know, aren't doing me any justice. Or the game. I mean, why did they think that? Why not up, down, left, right, and then a button for high and a button for low? Oh shit, that's what I mean, he totally KOs you with that one. And he's gone all squiggly. <laughs> Since you get into a river and you just lose your beans. No you don't. Again, because they're so spaced out, it's like you're trying to tell your hands what to do and they just go, oh, fuck you Dave, you're on your own. Anyway, Frank Bruno's boxing on the ZX Spectrum, you know. It's an early game, but it looks great, and it's basically Super Punch-Out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.